with Case Escape and in this video I'm going to show you how to take an image from Adobe Photoshop and print it straight out onto a phone case. So your first step is going to be pulling up the image you want to print into Adobe Photoshop. Um, you want to make sure that first this is sized for the um, actual device type you'll be making the case for. Um, in this example we're doing an iPhone 5 case. So I've got a size ready to go. First thing I'm going to do is go up to File print and it will pull up this big preview window with a bunch of settings here and our first setting we're gonna switch up under print settings at the top is making sure that we flip this image horizontally and here's where you're gonna adjust how many copies you want to print out if you want to do multiple um, this is where you're gonna change it I'm gonna click Save and now I'm going to go down to the color management section and under color handling you want to make sure that Photoshop manages the colors. So I'm going to select that, move on to the printer profile and here you want to select the Condi installed printing profile um, that you were provided and in, that, in this example it's called SG underscore SG3110DN um, RGB. So I'm going to select that, and now I'm going to move on to the rendering intent, which you always want to use perceptual. And with that, you're ready to go. I'm going to click print, and now it's time to get started. Let's get started. First, you're going to open up the image in Adobe Photoshop, print it out using our Ryko 3110 sublimation inks. Gonna move over, cut the image out. Now you're ready to place it onto a blank case. In this video, we're gonna show you how to turn on the heat press, set the appropriate time and temperature that you need to make a phone case. So the first thing you're gonna do is plug in the machine you'll see some lights pop up. You're going to want to hit the power bar once and you'll see that by default it'll be at 410 degrees Fahrenheit and 8 minutes. And so what we want to do first is switch that over to Celsius and you're going to hit the plus and minus buttons at the exact same time. Now we're in Celsius. And to print phone cases we always use 145 degrees Celsius. You're going to press the temperature button one time. And you'll see it starts blinking. That means you can change the temperature. And so we're going to hold down the minus button till we get all the way down to 145. And we're going to click temperature once more to confirm. Now, for time setting, we use three minutes. Press time setting button one time. Hold down the minus button all the way down to three minutes. And once you do this for the very first time, your heat press will save these settings so that anytime you boot it up, it's going to work perfectly. So click time settings to confirm. Now we're ready to start heating up the heating plates. So you're going to come over here, press the heating button, not once, but twice. You'll see that both the top and the bottom heating plates are now warming up. And so that's going to be the fastest way for it to get going. And when we're printing cases, we always want to use both the top and the bottom heating panels to get maximum even temperatures. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the silicone mat on the standard case escape heat press. So you can see it pulls out very easily. If you have one that rips or tears, you just rip it right off. You can throw it away. Not worth trying to mend or repair. And so you get your new one and you're going to want to place it just inside the grooves. 
and it'll be very easy to tell where it should be going in. It'll fit perfectly. You just move your fingers along this, all the edges here and work that mat in. Cool, just like that and you're ready to go. I'm Ryan with Case Escape, and in this video I'm going to show you how to print out a sublimation printer, take it all the way from a piece of paper 